When creating an overbuild, knowing where the new roof intersects with the existing roof is essential. Using Chief Architect's Create Roof Intersection Points tool, you can know exactly where your existing and new roof tie in together. In this example, I've already drawn my existing roof as well as the roof over my garage addition. I've also added a shed roof in the back over my patio area that I'd like to join to the roof as well. I'll start with the garage roof planes. I'll first select the existing roof plane. This is the roof plane my new roofs will be tying into. Once I've selected the roof, I'll come down to the Edit Toolbar and click on the Create Roof Intersection Points Edit button. Next, I'll click on the ridge edge of one of my new roof planes. When I do this, Chief will generate a temporary point showing exactly where the ridge will tie in. Let's repeat this process for the fascia edge. Again, while I still have my existing roof plane selected, I'll click on the Create Roof Intersection Points Edit button again. This time, instead of clicking on the ridge, I'll click on the fascia edge and Chief will place another temporary point where the fascias intersect. Since the ridge for both my new roof planes tie into the same spot, I'll just create the fascia intersection point for my roof plane on the opposite side. Once these points have been placed, I'll click on my new roof plane and drag the ridge edge to the ridge intersection point and drag the fascia edge to the fascia intersection point. I'll repeat this process for the other roof plane and complete my overbuild condition. In the back of the house, I want to go ahead and join this shed roof over my back patio to my existing roof. Just like before, I'll select the roof plane we're tying into and then click the Create Roof Intersection Points Edit button. The thing to remember is when I click on the other roof plane, I want to click on the edge that's going to run into the roof plane, not the valley edge. What that means is in this case, I want to click on the left or right edge of this shed roof plane to get an intersection point. Once I've done that, I'll grab the edge of my roof plane and snap it to the temporary point connecting the roofs together. Now that I've joined the roof planes, I'd like to get rid of the temporary points Chief has created. To do this, simply go to the CAD Tools Parent button and click on Delete Temporary Points. You can also access this tool by going to the CAD menu, then Points, then Delete Temporary Points.